Okay, here we go. Okay. We're apparently making some you know, chicken pesto pasta. Chicken garlic mashed potatoes. Pesto pasta. Garlic mashed potatoes. So these are like what? Military rations? Yeah, oh, I mean you wanna call it that. There's cinnamon buns here and a grape jelly and a bread. Yeah. An orange drink, maybe I'll drink that later too. Okay, ready? Yep. So I guess that thing is supposed to heat up the food, which is kind of strange. Oh, it's not strange at all. It's pretty strange to me. <laughs> Science. You put the water first or do I? Uh. So if you guys are wondering where they got this, uh, we got this. Apparently they gave it to my dad for people who, I guess, are like seniors, seniors and they need food. Oh, I guess I'll, I guess I'll <laughs> put these in after because putting them in now, like... Yeah, it'll alter the water level, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I was thinking. Okay. Okay, gotta fill it to the line. Do not overfill. I can't tell, like, what... Yeah, okay, that looks about right, I guess. That's it? Do I go to the first line or the second line? Just do not overfill, so just whatever that line... Okay, well, it's like in between the first and second line, so close <laughs> it off, I guess. <laughs> That's so weird. I mean, it's so weird, though. It's like the instant hot pot. Yeah, I know, but... I'm waiting for it to explode. Not to explode. What do you do? Just, like, shake it? You just fold it over, you know, you prop it up against a rock or something, as instruction says. We don't have a rock. No, you prop it up. You don't make it flat, the water will leak out. Mm. Yeah. Prop it up on this, I guess. How long do you have to wait? Until it stops heating up, I guess. Can you feel if it's heating? Is it warm? Not yet. Well, then again, I did uh, put um, the heater is in between both of those MREs. Hold sleeve level until heater feels warm. Until one minute elapses, okay. Were you supposed to do this without the stuff inside? No. Oh. It says it right here. Just no. make sure it doesn't leak. Ain't no senior person's gonna be doing this. <laughs> Imagine a senior person <laughs> cooking this by themselves. I, that's kinda strange. So what about, what about all the stuff? It's just bread and cinnamon bun. I mean, you know, while this cooks, you can open that, I guess. Cinnamon bun. Oh, cinnamon bun. Look how flat that is. Yeah, it's, you know, That's vacuum sealed. kind seal. of not natural. I mean, it's vacuum sealed. Though. If it becomes really fluffy fluffy and delicious when you open it, then I'll be surprised. And this is a um, snack bread. And this is orange beverage powder. I mean, they give you all the ingredients of what you're assuming, consuming. From Giannis Brothers Packaging Company, Kansas City. No fruit juices. <laughs> they give you this, um... Utensils. Utensils. Um, I don't know what's inside, but it looks like... Open it. I can't open with one hand, though. <laughs> I'm holding the phone with the other. Here's a spoon. Here's a knife. Oh, I guess we didn't need a fork. <laughs> Here's some sugar, some pepper, salt, fresh nap, instant coffee, coffee instant mate. Instant coffee and coffee mate. Oh my god. They just didn't give you the cup. Oh, you can hear it. Can you hear it? Not really. You gonna hear like a sizzling? Ah! Careful, ah. careful. Stop! Ah! Ah! You scared me. It went from nothing to like... To like really hot? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What is 
this a cinnamon roll? Yeah. What's <laughs> This is not a cinnamon roll. Well, cinnamon bun, Bobo. Technically, it is a bun. What is in it? It looks like... Cinnamon. Oh. I thought it was raisins. And here's the snack bread. That's not appetizing at all. It feels nice. It feels nice, soft, and moist. No, it does not. Well, I mean, yeah, it's bouncy. It feels like hamster food. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kentaro, eat this. Oh, my God. Wheat flour. Oh, this is really soft, though. This is almost like the texture of a firm Twinkie. I mean, it's, you know, got like a bunch of different grains, like wheat, rye, corn, oats, brown rice, trussica, barley, millet, flaxseed. Are you putting the grape jelly on the flatbread? I'll put it on the side. Oh. I'm scared. In the event I'm I... scared to eat this. Why? It doesn't... Okay. Maybe it'll, it, it's a bit appetizing looking compared to some certain foods that I've seen. So, um... Maybe, maybe should I put the grape jelly on like a little sauce dish? I just want side right there. Just put it right there. Mm, mm, mm. I haven't had a grape jelly since I was, I don't know, in, in like elementary school. <laughs> Break off a pizza. What, this? Yeah, I want to try the cinnamon bread first. Look at that. See, it's like if a cinnamon bread was like. Cinnamon bun was, um. Where's this frosting? <laughs> Fucking not, Bobo. This doesn't taste bad. Mm. It tastes like. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like if you got a cinnamon bun from like a vending machine for like a yeah. for like two bucks. It, minus the frosting. So. Sure. It also tastes like it was smushed. But it's you know, it's compressed, so you know. Because I have I've had like cinnamon buns from like vending machine. You know, and I they like were fluffier. The edge. the edge is nice. The, the curved edge. And it, it's soft on the around the edges. It's surprisingly soft for like a a wrapped up. But it's got like a weird aftertaste, like like a sourness to it. Hmm. Eating it. Not my fault, you eat slow. How about that? It's like bread with grape jelly. Give me a small piece. Look, see, it's so snackable. It has these holes in it so you can just tear along the holes. <laughs> Dry. It's not that dry. <laughs> Tear a pouch at notch. Back. <laughs> nice. Now you're gonna have to. Don't make a huge hole. How does it look like? It looks like that. It looks like orange. Orange powder. Like tang. <laughs> it's more like... Looks good. It's probably more like orange Gatorade or something. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like an orange Gatorade. Yeah, kind of.
Yeah, it basically tastes. Ooh. Ooh. It has a weird aftertaste, though. It's not as sweet as Gatorade. to give you coffee meat and sugar. You know, this just tastes like coffee meat and sugar water. Well, it's instant coffee. What do you want? <laughs> just drink water. Who's in the wild going like, I want coffee, instant coffee? But what's, I think the question is who in the wild is looking for gourmet artisanal coffee? No one. Everybody's drinking instant coffee in the wild. Or no coffee. It's America, but well, you think people can survive without coffee here? Maybe. Oh, hang on, I think I missed this step. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to put this over it. Oh my god. I thought this was just a nutritional label for the thingy, so I ignored it, but it's... But I guess it's supposed to sleeve it like that. So it kind of stays in place? Yeah, and I guess to also like... You know, make it... Easier to <laughs> it looks like a giant Hot Pocket. <laughs> Food, energy, top performance. Ten years later. Yeah, no no senior person is gonna be waiting for food like this. Maybe if there were a senior person in the army <laughs> at some point. Even then they'd have stuff called a microwave. I guess. It's probably easier to just cut it open and then put it in the microwave. Yeah. I can kinda hear it. It's like a sound. Yeah. Dude, who in the military even is going to be like waiting for this thing to be done heating? Well, probably it's, you know, it works better when you put the sleeve on it, mm -hmm. which we forgot to do. Oh, um, dang. Warm. Hmm? Does not feel warm. Oh, I guess it is pretty hot. I can smell like something funny. Yeah, chemicals. Ew, it smells almost like we're burning, burning plastic. That's the smell of chemicals. Isn't that bad? You're not eating it, it literally has a do not eat sign on the... Well, I mean like, what if the plastic is melting inside? It's not melting, Bobo, and it's more than just plastic. I mean, honestly, this thing is just to reheat it, so... Chicken breasts with rib meat strips? That sounds really good. And pasta in basil pesto sauce. Hmm. What? Do you think it's getting more audible? Slightly. I can hear it more, like it's boiling more slightly. Hmm. 
warm. It's warm, but not really super hot. This one's warmer. Definitely warmer. What is that one? Uh, this is the garlic mashed potatoes. Okay. It's like a flat pouch of mashed potatoes. <laughs> Delicious. Look, it's even got herbs and stuff. Oh, well. Chicken pesto pasta. This is kind of my mess. Oh my goodness. Oh no, my goodness. Look, it's got actual pasta bits in there. Yes, it's chicken. What do you, you know? Hey, eat first. Tastes like mashed potatoes. But I'm also getting like a lot of the pesto in my, in my nose, so it's affecting how I... <laughs> taste the potatoes. Yeah. How does it taste the pesto? I mean, okay, I could use some salt, but that's probably why they gave you salt. Yeah. Chicken pesto. Pasta. Get some chicken. It's actual bits of pasta. Well, it's not a, you know, <clears throat> it's not a microwavable meal, but well, it costs more than that. So you get actual pieces of pasta and chicken. I mean, microwavable does have pieces of pasta sometimes too. Yeah, but the meat's usually really sad. Mm, this is kind of sad too. <laughs> sadder. Microwavable is usually sadder. These are pretty bland. You want some salt? But um, this is actually pretty flavorful. Yeah, see, it's not bad. This one. Pesto. 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 It's not as hot though as I would like it to be. Probably cause, you know. But it's warm enough. Probably cause we messed up. Maybe. But yeah, that's basically what you call what? MRE. MRE. Standing for? Meals ready to eat. Yep. Delicious. It is good. What'd you rate this? Okay, how about I, me I base it off of microwavables? Yeah, okay. If compared to like a micro like a pretty good microwavable and a shitty microwavable, I don't know, like maybe a six or a seven, I don't know. A six or a seven microwavable. Maybe a seven. Okay, how's it taste with salt? Better. Okay. Well, that's the meal.